What's going on YouTube? Saham Man back with another Planet of the Apes figure review. This is the first figure we're going to be looking at out of the three that we got from the first wave from the original Planet of the Apes. And this is a gorilla soldier we're looking at right here. Um, so there's three figures that NECA made. And uh, if you guys you guys do know, they did release some of the recent Planet of the Apes movie that just came out. But this is the classic one from the 70s, which is a fantastic movie if you guys haven't seen it. The boxes on these are very, very nice. It kind of has like a little vintage... Uh, feel to it. It's a box. It's not, you know, the normal NECA clamshell packaging. Um, it's a seven inch figure. It says right there, Gorilla. And you got the um, image of the Gorilla there. This one looks really cool. I think this is the most, this is one of the harder ones to find in stores. Um, it does read Planet of the Apes on the side. There's a little logo right there on the back. A really cool image of, uh, you got the Planet of the Apes there, the um, Statue of Liberty. And um, you got Charlton Heston's uh, character right there. And it's a little read up if you guys want to read that feel free and pause and you can do just that and there's the other figures from this series which I will be reviewing so again this is made by NECA so what we're gonna do is take this figure outside of packaging and see how cool this guy really is alright guys so here's a quick little 360 look at the gorilla soldier which is actually a very nice sculpted figure the only thing I have a little problem was is with the rifle but we'll get into that in a second so here's a quick little top to bottom look at the gorilla soldier now what we're going to do is take a closer detailed look at this guy stay tuned for that okay, so we're going to get into the accessories first so he does come with this like a uh, little club that they use to obviously beat the humans in the movie so you can see right there it's got a little hook right there I'm not sure exactly where you can actually oh i guess you can hook this right here on his little vest on his um little belt that he has here there's a little hook right there so if you really wanted to hook the bat on there let's see if i can get that in that little hook yep there you go you can hook that little club right there which is actually pretty cool i like how that looks so you get that you get an interchangeable hand so if in case you want him to um hold on to that like uh club so you can see right there it's pretty nicely sculpted it's got a little bit of detail in the gloves and um you do get the rifle which has a little strap to it right there it's a it's kind of a rubbery material which looks really nice you can see the you can see the um the buckles and everything right on there both sides and uh, there's no like I'm guessing this is where the there's no like a handle there's no trigger and there's no like you know where you, where you put the um the, like the cartridge but uh, it looks pretty good looks pretty nice pretty decent he does he holds it kind of weird you got to get him his hands in certain positions to actually get him to hold this but it's cool because it has a strap in case you just want to you know put this around his shoulder or whatever and um, this isn't really ex an accessory but he does have his um, little shoulder like I guess harness if you will and uh, he's got a few things right there, little pouches. And it's a separate piece, the softer material, so it's not sculpted on. It's got some pretty good little uh, details to it, which is very nice. Now, looking at the character's head sculpt, which is super nice right there. You can see that. It's very, very nicely sculpted. The hair, the paint details they put on there, the face looks just, honestly, it looks just like it came like straight out of the movie get a little close up there see how close we can get this is very nice the nostrils and everything just look great and the um the hair right here you can see it's very very nicely sculpted the outfit as well the little like vest that he's wearing it's a softer material you can see right here it's a softer rubbery material the whole thing is so you can probably take this off if you really wanted to but you can see all the little great details in his um little like vest jacket thingy that he's wearing and then on the bottom or the inside of his or the arms I should say he's wearing like a like a purple shirt and the sculpting on this is very nice you can see all the wrinkles and it's got a little bit of a black shade back shading and then here's the um the gloves again very nicely detailed the shading on it is very nice as well here's the other one the other hand and then the pants are just on um, purple with a little bit of black shading on it again the sculpting on you know the sculpting's good they put all the wrinkled wrinkle details in there and then here is the boots the boots look actually they actually look really nice and you can see it's got that like two toe um little look to it you can see that there it's got little buckles and stuff right there so that's cool and in the bottom he does have peg holes so a very very nicely um well done figure to be honest with you now in the way of the figure's articulation the head can rotate it goes up and down arms go in and out forward and back bend at the at the um, elbow there uh, rotation in the arm the wrist can also rotate and go in and out it's got rotation at the waist you can see that there 
He's got an ab crunch as well, and it's cool because the jacket doesn't really hinder it, so that's really nice that it's a softer material. You can see it's got like a little slit right there as well. The legs do go in and out pretty far, which is cool. They go forward and back. He bends at the knee. The upper leg rotates, the lower leg rotates. The foot can rotate and go up and down. You can kind of tilt it as well. So he's got some very good um, range of motion, a very good articulated figure. Right, and there you have it. Today we're taking a look at the NECA Planet of the Apes Gorilla Soldier. This is a figure I definitely recommend. And this is a set that you can keep, you know, packaged like mint on card because the packaging on this looks really, really cool, and especially the artwork on the back. But that's a quick little look at the Gorilla Soldier. Let me know what you guys think about this figure. Are you guys going to pick it up? Um, let me know what you guys think about my review. Please subscribe, like, and rate. Share my videos. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys later. Take care and stay tuned for the rest of the figures.